Hey guys, Shieldy says bringing you a small batch of beer, the brute of all evil from Austin, Texas. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Shieldy says thanks for coming back. Today we're bringing you a rendition of a small batch of beer out of Austin, Texas from 4th Tap Brewing Co-op. That's right, cooperative. Uh, you'll see on their website, open in 2015 to the public, they are a employee-owned brewery uh, doing 30 barrels at a time, but they do have a tasting room open seven days a week and then three to four days a week. They do have a pizza truck on site. Uh, it's pretty cool. So today, guys, we're gonna be trying the Brute of All Evil. Yeah, it's a pretty cool name. Uh, one of the things I like, uh, you'll see on the bot uh, on the can here, it gives you a, from body, which is light, hoppiness, a little bit rigid, and balanced towards the sweeter side. Uh, so it's have a lot of fruit notes in this. Uh, Brute of all evil. It said it's uh, with a watermelon and a strawberry. So let's try it out. Obviously, we got to get that satisfying. And it's pretty cool artwork there on the can. You gotta dig that obviously being in Austin, they're gonna bring that to you. Also says that it's vegan friendly, as as beer should be vegan friendly. I don't know. Let's let's check out this pour if I can get the camera to cooperate. Well, it's a pretty looking beer so far. Oh, danger. Oh, I'll take that. That's a pretty good. But enough about talking about. Let's get to the drinking part. They're not kidding. That is hoppy. What's what's the word they use on them? Hoppiness is ridic. Oh, not rigid. I'm sorry. It says ridic. Easy to ridiculous. So this is more on the ridiculous sale. Uh, light body, I would say that. I, I'm not catching a ton of sweetness. There is a little bit in there. Uh, you can definitely taste that it's a fruit-based beer, uh, but it's not overly fruity, which is nice. If, if you like hops, you will like this. If you're not quite into a heavier, hoppier IPA type, Probably not for you. I would still drink this. You're gonna have to have something pretty bold to eat to, to stand up to this to this beer. But I'd say it's well made. Great color. Great. I'll do the I'll do the smell thing. It's got a great great nose to it, and it is a good finish. The nice part is. That hoppiness uh, doesn't stay too long on the palate, so it finishes pretty clean for such a ridiculous, not rigid, uh, hoppy flavor to it. So again, guys, that is Fourth Tap Brewing Co-op. And this is gonna be on my list of breweries to check out. Obviously, I got a ton of breweries to hit here in Houston first, but I'm gonna check this out the next time in Austin. Uh, if you like the review, please hit the subscribe hit the like button, and I look forward to you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Shilly says, check out The Brood of All Evil. Uh, and the 22, uh, talking about veterans every day, the 22 veterans uh, end their lives uh, in suicide, dealing with their demons that they have to deal with. So if you're a vet, remember, there's always somebody you can reach out and talk to, talk to a friend, talk to another vet, get online. There's plenty of groups on Facebook, on Instagram, reach out touch somebody there's always somebody there to help even if you feel there isn't anybody i guarantee you there is somebody at least got one somebody right here i know there's hundreds of other people online and if you know a vet go ahead check in maybe a little more than just thanks for your service you know really talk to that vet and see how they're doing uh, always dealing with some some particular demons that you might not be as familiar with um, from from our past hope to see you again real soon shieldy says hit the subscribe hit the like hit the notification.